Uh, hi guys, welcome everyone. Uh, today we have a special guest, one among the DV Lottery winners, Kala. Uh, so we are going to interview him to hear his story a little bit and ask him some few questions. Welcome Kala to the EBM Scholars. Thank you very much EBM. Yes, as EBM has already explained, I am a DV Lottery of uh, 2019, 2019, and uh, I moved here with my family in uh, November 2019. We moved here in Kansas, and now we are living in Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we, we have uh, a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Let me start very straight to uh, number one question. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your, I know the excitement of knowing that your family is among the winners first of all yeah. is green card lottery real or is something fake because some people are still fearing oh this is a fake people don't win can you say something yes, about that actually yeah as you have explained already uh a lot of people are asking like if these things is real or not real but actually this is the real thing and um that's why I'm here. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of people are curious because they get they get uh, lost in uh, internet because internet has a lot of things, has a lot of uh, website, but you have to choose the right one. So if you choose the right uh, website for this uh, program, I think you will get to understand, and you have to just read as. You know, you have to be careful in reading uh, the information provided there. So you will get uh, good information to know if it is real or not. But yeah, it is real and I've been, you know, meeting some few friends who are also Green Notary winners. Yeah. Uh, another question is, uh, what was your interview like? people are uh, some getting scared uh but what was your experience how long was it your interview and overall uh, how was the conversation until you were given the visa okay after winning a uh, green card the next step was to apply for uh for a visa that means everyone who wants to, to come to united states you have to do an interview they have to uh, know your background, they have to know you before they let you in. So the interview was uh, was not that difficult compared to other visas we usually hear about, for example, tourism visa, you know, students visa. You know, it's usually different from this. The reason why this program is run by a government, so it's within a government institutions. So if they choose you that means everything is run by the government so there is no private institution associated with so i think that's why the interview is not that difficult because uh anything you you write in your application form it will be anything you can be asking anytime so it didn't take long it took like uh, uh six to seven minutes kind of but yeah it was like just a conversation they wanted to know how will we uh, how will uh, me and my family be able to to afford life in America how are we going to to do you know like to cope up with the culture and a lot of things so it was kind of like conversation uh, was it like you know sometimes uh, people get some people is the first time to go to the US Embassy uh, but for your situation it was the conversation threatening or was it just more as a friendly casual conversation no more question asking always intending for you to not get in the visa like threatening way no actually the, the interview was very very friendly it was like you know discussing having a friendly conversation with someone you know so there was no strange question and the good thing like a guy will be uh, I mean an interviewer was giving us a room to ask whatever you don't understand so you can see how it was how flexible it was 
so it was flexible you can ask question if you don't understand and they can ask you even to revise they can ask you even to look on a certain document for example I think I, I, I just wrote a certain level of education whereby I didn't attach my certificate so I had to explain that and it was just easy and it was simple but the interviewer or uh, interviewer wanted to know uh, exactly why did I put a certain level of education without supporting documents so it it was a conversation like that uh, and another thing which makes people uh, a little bit uh, either to have a very good start or not to have a very good start is where are you going especially uh, to find a host and uh, thankful we know each other and uh, I happen to be your host uh, if one person has five hosts like options what are things are you going to ask someone to look at like okay i have five options which one should i should be uh my host comparing the experience we had as you and me yes, uh, for the case of host i think the thing uh, someone has to consider is a uh, legal status of somebody uh, some people they confuse a host like you know like a sponsor or someone who, who is very rich to host you but it doesn't take that you know level so what is supposed to be uh, done you have to make sure that your sponsor is uh, is living here in America legally that means someone who has all documents and uh, especially those people who are working working means it's not like being employed but doing something you know whenever they search your host in a system they 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 will you are not that appear to be a criminal guy is yes. your host <laughs> someone who is paying taxes someone who is fol following uh, american uh, policies and rules government regulation things like that so it is easy so whenever you you tell them uh, i will be going to someone then it will be easy for them to search for uh, the address of your host and they will find out so if you put someone you don't know maybe someone is doing uh, you know bad thing or is hiding some of information then i think it will be difficult for you yeah that is a very good thing uh so uh, another question what was your experience and your excitement the first day you arrived in the united states of america yeah, I mean, uh, my first uh, excitement was like we was welcomed when we reached at the airport. That you know, customer service, that handle, like everyone asking like if you need help. That was a first good excitement for me. I mean, I found out that you know, people here they are strangers, but they are red twelve if you want to know about anything about any information they can assist you whenever you enter in the united states of america and you know when you have a green card in your hand if you are a green card winner they will say welcome to america all the time welcome oh, home, home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah uh another thing people usually uh want to know more is about finding a job mm -hmm. uh how do you find a job especially you are the lottery winner you arrive in america do you look for the website do you go to the area uh, the local job agents uh, how does that work and what type of jobs can you come here from day one you become a lawyer in america what is your preparation in mind and how did you get the job uh here okay i think getting jobs here is very very interesting because whenever you land in america every place you go you will see a certain sign, a certain post saying that we are hiring. So every time you will see this post in the streets, everywhere you go, like we are hiring. Even if you reach at the airport, you will see a lot of signs, <laughs> we are hiring. So yeah, the, the, the first thing and the easiest thing when you reach here in America, getting a job is not that difficult. What you have to do, just use your social medias for example you can use um, indeed some people they use indeed some people they use facebook in facebook there is a, 
Facebook, uh, Jobs. You can find contacts for uh, these recruitment, recruitment agencies. Some companies, they are able to hire you direct. You just have to follow procedures. Yeah, so on, in terms of uh, employment procedures, uh, this was uh, different from when I was living in South Korea because I moved from South Korea to America. But you are Tanzanian. Yes. Yeah, people Tanzanian. should not think that yes. you are South Korean, black South Korean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean uh, concerning experience, for example in South Korea, you can drop from the airport and the same day you can get a job, whether it is night or morning. You can go anytime you want, but here in America, you have to uh, follow procedures. First of all, you have to, uh, you must obtain social security number, which will help you to get, you know, access to uh, working place. That is the first thing. But the second thing you have to do background check because, for example, here in America, if you are on drugs, there is no way you can be employed. So they, you have to take a drug test and they will do a little bit background check within uh, three to four days. That's where they can just, uh, you know, you can now discuss about where, when and where, when are you ready to start your new, new position. And what is the average uh, minimum wage or the general, most of the jobs when you start, how much can you get paid per, per, per hour? Okay, so here in America there is a lot of non-career job. Non-career job means whenever you land in America you have a certain career. It is not that within the first week or within the first month you will be utilizing your, you know, career-wise your, your skills. No, here they will teach you anything as long as they need you to work with them. So uh, the thing is there is a lot of, you know, uh, which I call non career job because uh, they can hire someone who is uh, from high school. They don't need any, that, those jobs which does not require any skills. Yeah, uh, here in this state, I think, uh, they say this state has, you know, good employment opportunities. So this job starts at least from 16 to 25. Some of other, you know, difficult job, hard jobs like construction, someone can get even paid third, uh, $30 dollar per hour. hour. So it depends on which one you want. Okay, that's very, very good. Uh, if I may ask another question, if someone is still uh, worrying, should I apply Green Card Lottery or should I stop applying for the Green Card Lottery? What do you advise if someone didn't apply, or maybe I didn't have the passport? What do you advise for the next DV lottery application, which will be also in October? I think on a DV lottery application, there should be there should be no any excuse, because uh, the thing is, this is the free program. You don't have to pay anything. What they need is just your information. Just prepare your passport. Just prepare any document you have. Attach them. Uh, do application and just just wait for your for your luck just wait for your chance to come here in america uh for you have been here in america so far for a year and a half going for two years now uh do you miss any specific thing either in tanzania particular or because you have been also in korea for quite some time do you have any regret that oh better could you stay in korea or better could you stay in tanzania uh is what you expected or what you are planning to do as your goal uh you see currently your life here as a green card holder are able to support those kind of what you are planning to do in the future i think i don't uh, regret anything because yeah uh, age is on my side i don't regret anything uh, it was my choice and my family so i think any decision you have to do in life you have to sacrifice for something so i think i don't see any regret because uh, i'm pursuing uh, what i've decided to pursue in this life i'm trying my level best there's a lot of opportunities which are open for me so i'm here to learn to grow but yeah i can't say that i regret by getting this uh, another question usually people ask is about apartment mm -hmm. uh how do you find apartment 
uh, like especially the good neighborhood. So before you answer that one, we are now interviewing you in your neighborhood, in your apartment area. So I want to show people when we say some of the neighborhood, these are some of the areas. Uh, so this is where Carla lives in this part, uh, this apartment. You can be able to see uh, that. Yeah, they are very nice apartment, quiet, beautiful very very clean and here there is a small park there is a barbecue grill there so it's a very nice uh area where you can be able to uh have kids playing around and very safe how do you get apartment in this kind of neighborhood for instance and how much average can it cost for instance per month and yeah. if i add on that in the normal jobs like someone makes 20 dollars per hour can he or she manage to live in this kind of neighborhood yes uh, actually here the procedure is like everything you have to go through background check and uh, when you are new in america uh, here in america there is uh, an important thing which someone must have uh, it's called a credit card everything is like almost you know controlled under credit card so you have to have a good credit card to, to get a good thing so before you apply for apartment they, they check will, your score to yeah, see they have to <laughs> check your uh, credit card score to see if you can afford but again if you don't have a credit card the other thing you must stick on your job you don't like doing one job like one week one job and then every week you have a new job that is not a good thing but another thing they consider a certain amount of payment before they let you in because they want to be very sure that you will be able to pay uh, bills every month and the good thing here in america they don't want you to pay for the whole year as you make your money every month you can be able to pay every month like uh, different from back home whenever you get apartment they want you to pay six months in advance or they want you to pay 12 months in advance the good thing here in America, they don't want, uh, they don't let you pay uh, in a lump sum. They will need you to pay at least every month. So if you show them your paycheck, and that paycheck at least should be at least one month and a half. Some apartment they do so, but they, uh, as I, I told you earlier, you have to stick on your job because they want to see your consistency. It's not like you work one week and then you quit. You go to another job. So those are the things they usually consider. Uh, talking about uh, this apartment, yeah, compared to Tanzania and South Korea, it's a bit expensive, but it's also affordable. We pay around uh, 1,200 every month. It is uh, 1,200 that includes every kind of bill. So the basic payment is like a uh, thousand dollar and then you pay utilities electricity and other kind of uh, small stuffs you use in the house it will be 1200 so i mean it is affordable but as as uh, uh ebm said you know it depends on the environment you want to live uh, for example we considered here uh, the place is silent and um, our our daughter's school you just cross the road yeah so and we have uh, the school is just uh you can see at the end after this one that blue uh at the end that is the school yes. uh and how much how much do you pay for school fees for your child to go there in that uh, beautiful the good thing here in america you don't have to pay any amount of school fees I think uh, until high school, so it's free. No, until college. Until college, yeah. yeah, until college. Until you finish high school, yeah. yeah. So it's free from kindergarten to high school. So it's a good thing. We pay taxes and that's how our taxes are being utilized <laughs> by the government. So you don't have to worry about anything about school. Yeah, that's very, very good. Yeah, because my next question was, okay, so what about school? I know uh, you are, your daughter is about to start the school in August, yes. and I know it's very close by, so you answered that question. Uh, okay. I know people usually have so many questions over and over, but this, which I've been asked, I can say is mostly frequent asked one. Uh, I know, uh, maybe if I might ask like the cultural question, for instance, uh, when we come here usually we have a tendency of uh, 
uh, converting the money in our head. For instance, let's say you are using Tanzanian shillings or Kenyan shillings or Rwandan franc. So you go to a place and you are supposed to buy maybe coffee or tea. They say it is two dollars. Two dollars? How many shillings? Like four thousand Tanzanian shillings? Oh, this amount of Kenyan shillings? No, I'm not doing. Did you have that kind of thing of doing some translation in your head a little bit? Then, if yes, at what point you'd say, no, this is not helping me because I'm making the money and I live here, so it will be no more expense like any other expense? I think for me, I didn't find, um, you know, I was not that, uh, I was not having a lot of question about payments because, uh, as I told you, the experience I had in South Korea was, was at least a bit, you know, similar to America. But uh, yeah, so when it comes to purchasing stuff, I don't question that much. The, the, the problem or oh, the different was they don't disclose the full price of products here in America. So they don't include taxes. So whenever they put price tags on products, they don't include uh, taxes. And then you will be surprised when you, get to, uh, when you go to pay <laughs> on the counter that this product is this amount but why is it increasing like this but i don't think that is um, is a big deal uh, there's no problem with that but you know when it it comes to changes yeah i think whenever i do uh, certain contributions back home or whenever i send small amount of dollar back home you know it's it's a huge amount of money so it is when where we we calculate you know the amount and we we try to make a comparison on that uh, another quick question uh, is if a new person, the V lottery winner, either the 2021 2022 coming results up, is processing to come to America, what are the most important things you will tell? Don't do what, this number of things, or make sure that you are aware of these kind of things in order to succeed quicker here in America. Yeah, here, I mean, uh, there is a lot of opportunities. But the thing you have to avoid is to avoid shortcuts. Um, just do your things in the right way. Don't hide information because whenever they find out that you are hiding information or you are telling lies, that will be a big problem on you and you will not be trusted. So those are the things someone has to consider when they come here uh, in America. Just trying to learn culture, trying to cope with the environment. This, you know, this is a free, it's a free, I can say it's a free world, it's a free nation because they don't care about your accent, they don't care about your culture, they try to understand it, but you on your side also, you have to learn and try to understand their culture, something which will be uh, more important when you come here. Uh, so as we are concluding, do you have any one or two questions for me? Uh, I think no, because we have been, uh, yeah, <laughs> discussing a lot of things. Uh, I think I don't have a question. Maybe next time if I have a question, I can post it on your uh, YouTube channel or I can send you a message so that you air it. Yeah, so I would like to say first of all, thank you. Thank you so much for all the time while we have been doing live with you many times. You have been on my channel uh, and yourself, you have your own channel, though now you are busy finishing certain things but i'll put your channel also on the link of this particular video and i ask people to go and subscribe to your channel because it's a better way to learn also from someone who is the winner for me i can talk a lot of green card lottery but i didn't go through the process and experience and excitement and challenges like the one you are going through so i want people to go to your youtube channel also to subscribe the link will be in the description of this particular video uh, so thank you thank you so much carla May God bless you and we'll keep in touch. I want also, before we leave, I just want to show people again the neighborhood. People just want to, to know uh, some of places people live here. Okay. Uh, so this is the neighborhood. Like they have also a small park around here. You can be able to see. Uh, yeah. So it depends on where do you live. Uh, it determines the price, the neighborhood, the level of the crime, uh, how the apartment, one bedroom, two bedroom, what uh, things are around. Like you see, the school is here. There is a little park you can be able to play around with your kids, but uh, everything is clean. 
close by kind of that so okay Carla thank you thank you so much thank may God you bless you much. and goodbye everyone remember to subscribe to Carla's YouTube channel too and myself uh, all the best for the individual winners